Today we're going to meal prep, breakfast, lunch and dinner for the entire week. Maybe you're in college, maybe you're in uni, in school, maybe you're working a 9 to 5. Whatever it is, we're all super busy. And if you're anything like me, you do not want to cook a healthy meal when you're super tired. And then you're tempted to eat other things. You might want to get a takeout, you might want to stop by McDonald's. We want to avoid that. We want to make sure that we hit our fitness goals and that we're eating healthy through the entire week by meal prepping. You don't need any fancy meal prep containers. I have this very affordable containers from Ikea. I also have other containers from Amazon. I'm also gonna share with you some of my favorite meal prep tips, how to make meal prepping easier. So let's start with the prepping. We're gonna start off with breakfast and we're going to make a Greek yogurt. Super healthy, super filling, very easy to make. And all we need for that is a Greek yogurt. I usually buy the fat reduced Greek yogurt. I love to use frozen berries. You know how expensive berries in a supermarket can be. Number one. Number two, they go bad so quickly, especially the raspberries. For the frozen fruit, you can totally add it to a container if you want to add it like that. I personally like to heat it up a little bit in the microwave because you know then the juice comes out. Then we're gonna need a little bit of peanut butter for some healthy fats, cinnamon because I like the taste of it, and some agave syrup, which you can use honey, you can use maple syrup, you can use any sweetener you like. This is one of my favorite hacks. I put my peanut butter onto the scale and weigh the peanut butter out of the top instead of weighing it on my container. lunch we're going to make this lentil pasta. I personally don't like to have meat with every meal that I make. Meat and fish is very expensive so I try to sometimes use alternative things like lentils, beans, chickpeas, tofu. If you still want to make this with meat you can totally use minced beef or minced chicken. This is whole wheat facility pasta. Let me tell you something about this. I used to be on this trip where I only ate whole wheat pasta or or this lentil pasta. Nothing wrong with that, but I do prefer the other pasta, just like regular plain pasta. The reason I'm using this one today is because I have a package from back in the day when I used to eat them and I don't want them to go bad, so we're going to use them today. I use this basil tomato sauce. I have arugula. I have arugula. I have arugula. What is this called? I have some arugula. Is it how you pronounce it? Oh my gosh. You can also use baby spinach. And then I have my veggies that I already chopped. I have my red onion. I have my zucchini and my tomatoes. So usually chopping up veggies for me is too much work. <laughs> I decided to do this today, but I definitely do not do this every week. My biggest hack, if you are like me, you're too lazy to cut veggies, use frozen veggies. I do this a ton. Another thing, if you want to lose weight, gain weight, track your calories or your macros and you think you can only eat, you know, like chicken, rice and veggies where you can measure everything out and make sure that you can track it. My favorite hack for meal prepping things like this is I just take two cans of lentils, see how much is in there. If you're curious, we are about one 1060 grams of lentils and I'm gonna divide that by eight. This is how many lentils I'm gonna have each day. So in the end I just I measure everything out and then I know that my calories for the week or for the next four days are still on track. We're starting off by adding the onion. In the meantime I'm going to weigh my pasta. I'm going to add a little bit of tomato paste into my onions because then the whole thing gets a better flavor. If you are losing weight and you don't want to use a lot of oil, one of my favorite tips is to use a little bit of water. When the onion is a little bit, you know, fried up, a little bit golden, we're going to add our tahini. Here I have my rinsed lentils, which I'm gonna add to the zucchini because it is now softer. And then we're gonna add the tomatoes. That's a bunch of lentils, oh my God. Well, now I'm scared that we're not gonna fit the sauce into this. Adding my tomatoes, oh my God, it's getting worse and worse. So for the seasoning, very simple. We're gonna use some salt. 
pepper, garlic powder, and Italian herbs. And then giving it a good stir. Now let's add one of the sauces and see if we're going to need another one. Okay, I'm going to use the second one because I want it to be a little bit more saucy. Oh my god. These are the containers that I use for my lunch usually. I bought them from Amazon, they were super affordable. You can now weigh your entire sauce and then divide it by eight. Same for the pasta. I personally am too lazy to do that and all I do is I, I measure it. What I like to do for saucy things is you can take one of these, whatever they are called, and then I do one for each and then see if I can do a second one. I also, of course, because we're eating pasta, I topped this off with some Parmesan cheese. You can also use mozzarella cheese. You can leave the cheese out if you don't like cheese which I don't understand, but I'm not judging you. Maybe a little bit. If you're anything like me, you absolutely adore fast food burgers and especially McDonald's. So what we're gonna make today is one of my all-time favorite meals for dinner, and that is a Big Mac bowl. This is so easy to make, but I don't meal prep it in the same way that I meal prep my lunch, because for dinner, I am obviously home. What we need is our lean minced beef potatoes. I cut them into fries. I like to keep them very simple, just like you would have fries from McDonald's. You know, they're just super salty. A spritz of olive oil so they don't stick together and then salt and then put them into the air fryer. I am not a fan of making potatoes for the entire week. I make them fresh every day. I already chopped my iceberg lettuce. If you want to save some time you can also buy the pre-cut lettuce. I also cut some pickles although you can buy them cut but when I went to the grocery store they didn't have any so I am going to cut them just each day how many pickles I want and put them into my burger bowl. And then we have some onions. You can just throw them in there raw. I personally don't like raw onions, not because I do not like the taste, but because I feel like they always make me feel a bit weird and I have this weird feeling in my mouth. I don't know. Lazy version, which I also like to do, is buy these pre-made roasted onions that are a little bit higher in calorie and not as healthy but you know you have to find your balance between making the things yourself and just using store-bought things this week i decided i have enough energy to cut an onion all we have to make is the big mac sauce you can buy this at the store i don't know i think in the u.s do you have big mac sauce in the store or i'm sure there are also big mac sauce alternatives that are no sugar i'm on a budget i'm going to make the sauce myself and all i use is is Greek yogurt, ketchup, mustard, and light mayo. Lean minced beef. I hope the air fryer and the minced beef cooking here are not too loud, but in the meantime, we're going to make the sauce. I don't have any measurements. The main part, obviously, is going to be the Greek yogurt and the mayo. Okay, I'm just taking two maybe like spoons like that. Maybe we should weigh the mayo because I don't want to have more than 15 grams of mayo for each day. Very simple seasoning. We're just going to take a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of paprika, garlic powder. Something that I like to do is season my sauce and the meat that I'm making with the exact same seasoning. I like it. Doesn't taste like Big Mac, but it's good. Moving a little bit over here. This is the bowl put together. I put a little bit of cheddar burger cheese over the minced beef. I have my iceberg lettuce. I have my cucumbers. I have my rice. A lot of sauce because we also use a lot of Greek yogurt. So it's more in volume. And then we have the onions for today. And that is the burger bowl. I just had dinner and oh my gosh, it was 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. I think this is the best burger bowl I ever made. When it comes to meal prepping, cooking, anything, you need to decide how healthy you want to live. I personally do not get happy if I eat plain chicken with plain rice and plain veggies. That's not the life I want to live. I still like to have my sauces. I like to have my cheese. I like to have variation and fun in my food, okay? It doesn't have to be super plain and boring. I don't meal prep snacks. I eat snacks 
affects however hungry I am on that day. Some days I'm more hungry, some days I'm less hungry and I just go with the flow. My favorite snacks are any type of yogurt, you know, this pre-bought yogurt with a little bit of fruit inside. There's this high protein yogurt, high protein pudding, high protein, whatever they all have in the store. Or I just like some plain Greek yogurt with some fruit. I like to throw in some cornflakes or just eat cornflakes with milk. I really like fruit like banana, apple. Now we're in winter, we're having clementines. Sometimes I really love to make myself a PB toast, also amazing snack. Let me know if you try any of these recipes. Subscribe if you want to see more food content and also fitness workout content. Having fun over here. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it and other than that, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!